Quit playing me, bro. Where's Mumsy? Oh. Where's Mumsy? Good shaky wakeys. Why is this your new thing? Go, get the tape. Get off, titter. What the hell? Tate, I'm, I'm twisted, bro. We're gonna open this up. I am excited to open up this package. Hopefully you guys understand the level of excitement I have for what's inside here because what I've been hunting for all this time could potentially be inside. Let's find out. That backdrop kinda sucks. What the? Hell no. That's a little better. <sighs> yes, finally. The moment we've all been waiting for. A vivid voltage booster box. Granted, I had a couple opportunities to buy this locally. I'm not one who wants to pay that much of a retail. I have no problem paying about a hundred or so dollars for a booster box. Once things were going to the range of like 200, that's pushing it. I, as, as much as I like things, I don't like it for that much of a retail. Comment down below how much you guys are willing to pay for a booster box. This one right here was roughly about like $110, $120 just about for this box, which I think is absolutely worth it for a set. Granted, reprints, but you know, we have no problem with that. I kind of don't like how this thing is covered in old man s By the legends of Arceus, we finally have our booster box to open up. Can you hear Tater Tot chewing? <laughs> Speaking of Legends of Arceus, mine should be coming soon, and I can't wait to open it to play. And if you guys want to see those live streams, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. But first, we have to open up this beautiful Vivid Voltage Booster Box. Chasing down the Hyper Rare Pikachu. Hopefully we get one today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a never-ending journey that we've been taking upon ourselves to continue on trying to get that Pokemon card. <laughs> Will we get it? I sure as all hope so. It's, it feels like it's been a while since I've seen this stuff, even though we do open these up at the end of every single video. It just feels uh, relatively new again. I mean, granted, I haven't opened a booster box before, so having seen these cards like this, I haven't done that yet. Cockney, Reverse Hollow. Rolling out, our first Pokemon card hit. Colossal V. And look at all this asbestos on my fingers from the, uh, the cellophane wrapping. Now we go to this side of the bo booster box and have you guys yourselves open up a Vivid Voltage booster box for yourself. Have you guys pulled your Hyper Rare VMAX Pikachu? I'm really hoping we do so. And, you know, it's just a beautiful card. Granted, the new Koro Koro Pikachu just came out. So is it overly necessary in comparison? Why not? Because it's the hype. It's the hype that drives us to buy more cards, buy more Pokemon cards, and hunt them all down. Dusnor, getting all his semen buddies into his belly. Big Seed. That's actually not a bad looking Banette card. Wouldn't be better as a holo though. How do we randomize this? We go to this backside, opening up Vivid Voltage with, uh, char not Charger Bug. What are you again? Uh, it's been that long that I forgot his name already. Yes, name on screen now, but... Yeah, um, I'm excited to to open up more booster boxes as we are getting closer to Brilliant Stars. Do you plan on buying your booster boxes for Brilliant Stars? I do. Swoobat, swooping it up, swooping up this Loudred, Zebstrika, Mudbray rolling in the mud. That looks like the, the new Bay Bridge here in San Francisco. That's kind of neat. Electrike, Duskull, hanging out in downtown. Opal, old as dirt. Yeah. There she is, being old and ninja. Ninja asked me a question. <laughs> Some of this lighting do be fucky though. Tater, what do we do? Oh, I could have done this the whole time, but I didn't because, you know, I don't be considering things like that. But we do value your opinions on whether or not booster boxes are worth it, especially when 
for the price that you're paying for some of these booster boxes, if you're literally hunting for one card, like I'm doing right now, is it really worth doing the whole booster box for? For me, unfortunately, yes, because I'm the type who needs to pull the boxes, or pull the cards by myself, by my own hands. Even though I do now have a Celebrations Charizard, Nick pulled it, so technically, it doesn't feel real. But this Zacian, amazing rare Zacian, absolutely feels real, with his amazing sword stuck in his mouth. What else is stuck in your mouth? Ah, this guy's wearing clogs. We are sure as hell hoping for a rodent infestation. Hopefully gonna be uh, here. Hopefully, we got one mouse right there. But when we get to the mouse, the big rainbow expletive mouse that we're hoping for, I hope so. Ah, swallow, a lot of blue things back to back. Dead NA, Whooper, hanging out with his big balls in the bathtub. That sounds kind of gross. Rock Ruff, getting rid of more, okay. Two Rock Ruffs, getting rid of the little flower in its ear. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck in there and cause an infection. Oh, I saw a little shimmer of hope. Togekiss V, beautiful card, funny ass Pokemon. Well, V Max. I said V, come hoping to lose my V card to this Hyper Rare Pikachu. Really though? Know? Knock that pack out of the box, get it? Uh, that's not really a joke, but we are hoping to find that Pikachu here. Literally, that's all I'm actually hoping for from this booster box. Hoping for that Hyper Rare Pikachu. No more, no less, and I don't think that's the best way to go about opening booster boxes. But if you find value in opening booster boxes for that reason, then do so. I mean, whatever brings fun and value to your day, who's to say you're doing it wrong? Clubopus, besides your bank account. And that's probably how the bank account's feeling after these booster boxes. <laughs> Metagross. Kind of gross. Kind of looks like the lower half of uh, Dialga in the new game. Speaking of that new game, I have not looked too deep into it. Any level of spoiler I got, it was from my buddy Nick, who would send me some things here and there. Beyond that, I try to be completely, completely removed from it. Just so when I play the game, it feels brand new. I think that's one of the hard parts about some of this Pokemon stuff as of late, especially with remakes, is that it's just a little too familiar and you don't get the same childhood mystique of starting a new game. Oh, hey, Zamazenta, amazing rare, going with his buddy Zacian. Bees. I'm not allergic to bees. But that same childhood mystique of when you know, open up a brand new Pokemon game, play it for the first time and everything is brand new. I think that's why most people are super excited for Legends of Arceus versus when Brilliant Diamond and Shiny Pearl came out was that it was just solely a remake with new art style, which is still pretty and cute. I myself have yet to open my, my, uh, my copies yet, but I will in due time, play those games, and hopefully Shiny Hunt, if you guys want to see those, follow the Twitch channel. Choodle, chewing up my bank account. Yep, that's a waste of money. But you know what's not wasted? Thanking you guys for taking part in watching this channel, following, subscribing, supporting us, whether it be with views, likes, comments, or anything in between. We appreciate it nonetheless. We have you in our sights, telescopic sights, Mightyena. Hanging out in near the full moon, and I just slowed down. Choodle. Shiny. Wait, is this a shiny Choodle? Because it does have the shiny sparkle around it, but are you technically shiny? We'll put the shiny thing here. No clue. Pick a peck. Nessa. Lucariosa. What is your name? Blipbug. No. That, that's the, the pre-evolution. Uh, UFO bug. Or Beetle, damn it, we just forgot. We are getting senile, ladies and gentlemen. Senility is bad. So do what you can to not <laughs> get it, dumb eyes. Trumbeak, Pikapak, Devolutions, Ninkata, Erascuda, Erakuda, Erakuda, Charmeleon. I forget, Is I think there is a Charizard, duh. If there's a Charmeleon in this set, there has to be a Charizard. Ah, Samurai Otter. I don't really like this one. I don't like this one either, but we do like your company and we do like making short form content it's a little uh unique so we did make a tiktok follow it subscribe to it whatever it is you do on tiktok besides dances we won't be doing that let's hope we don't do that be a Duraldon. Good looking card. I would love to see a Hisuian version, which I don't think will look too much different than what we're getting here. And our rare.
<sighs> I don't see the Razzle and Dazzle in this card. I want to see the Razzle Dazzle in Pikachu V Max. Hyper Rare only. Will that be the Hyper Rare we get in this box? Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. I am hoping so because this is hurting my back. Wondering when we're, we're going to see it. Galantula sticking in his webs. Did you like Spider Man? Fantastic movie. I loved it. Can't wait for hopefully another one with Andrew or uh, Toby. C Dots, Rocky Helmet. This box opening is sure as hell is feeling a little rocky and our rare. I would love to hunt you down. Pikachu pack. Bringing us a uh, Pikachu in this Pikachu pack. Oh my God. I can't wait to open up something different. You know, granted, you know, I did open a bunch of Vivid Voltage earlier last year, trying to hunt down Hyper Rare Pikachu. Didn't get it clearly. So the excitement with these cards isn't really there. Voltorb, Galvantula. This box be hurting my back, so we shall do some mega packs. One from each art of Vivid Voltage. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, let's hope that we can do this in one take without any cuts. Big shout out to the progenitor of this type of opening. One, two, three to the front. Get rid of an energy, put the rare down that way. And then we have this stack over here. One more pack. Or beetle adorning the front. There he is with his big bulbous body, bringing us hopefully a big bulbous rat in that pack. One, two, three to the front. Energy, put the rare down this way, put that stack over there. And then here we have the Pikachu. Hopefully the Pikachu's in this one. If not, hopefully he's in one of those other two. If we get it, ladies and gentlemen, in this style of opening, I will be elated beyond belief. One more pack to open. Celebi, there he is. I don't really care for that Pokemon. Little onion, little fairy onion. Do we like fairy onions? I don't really care for fairy onions. I actually don't really care for spring onions. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? I don't really know. We forgot the left, the reverse hollows. Oh, we keep doing here, right? Trish just a bat. All right. Speed, <laughs> speed run for the bat. It's hilarious. We got a hot energy. Apparently, we got a blizzard. We got a blizzard. We got a rock. 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 We got a we got a little bit of 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 a little bit our other rare. Yep, we're still not liking it. We're still not liking it. We're still not liking it. Hold on, buddy. Yeah. Ah, cats, dogs, natural enemies. And our... Oh! Oh, that's the ore beetle. The big bulbous bug whose name we forgot about, but we have this as a hyper rare. Please don't be this old hyper rare. Have you guys ever had a dog biting at your nether regions? While opening up a booster box, I sure as hell have not until just now. And that was, man, luckily I'm wearing jeans. Luckily I'm wearing jeans or else he would have prevented my lineage from continuing on. And hopefully we can continue on with this booster box opening without any more distractions. Hakuna, Pharisee, Duskull, Oshawott, Drillbur, Plasticine Dolls back to back, Beldum. Ugh, landfill, just like this whole booster box thus far. Right, 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 right. Where we go? We go this side. We go this side. We got the little, what is this thing? A monkey? A lemur? Are you supposed to be a lemur? Uh, I, I think so. I mean, I can't imagine him being a baboon. Uh, Baba Own does not look like that kind of monkey, but looks like a bat. Looks like yeah, looks like a lemur. Is that the case? I should probably do some research. Swallow. We could tell that's a bird. Those are some humans. That's a fake dinosaur. That's an octopus. That's a ball of cotton and also kind of like a cow. And that's a ball fish whale. Mammal, mole, uh, crying rabbit, another mole, a carcass. I guess it's technically a husk, but it's dead to me, ladies and gentlemen. And by the way, if you guys are from Bay Area, do you guys ever listen to Dead to Me? I enjoyed that band growing up. Granted, I didn't listen to them a lot, but you know, good band, local band. You know what else is not local? 
where I bought this booster box. And that will be in the comments down below or in the description as to where I bought this booster box for the price. Uh, I, like I said, I don't remember, it's $120-ish dollars. But I'll put a link in the description down below. Flareon, fire me up, baby! Do you guys think we did it? Do you guys think we screwed ourselves with this Hyper Rare? Do you think we will get the luck of an additional Hyper Rare in this box? Oh my god. If that's the case, I feel the luck. I feel the luck not being there, ladies and gentlemen. I feel that this is the one booster box from their case that has no Hyper Rare Pikachus. My morale is gone. My energy depleted. My want to continue on. I don't get that hero's medal. I want to step in this little trap. Yet my foot's stuck. This thing is stuck in the throat of that Dialga. Tweedle. Whalmer. Sandile. Riolu. Nancy. I am very sensitive right now. We might be sensitive, but we have more to open and more hope ahead of us, ladies and gentlemen. I think we are halfway through this booster box with a little bit more time to hopefully get lucky with a booster box that has two hyper rares. I don't know if I have that kind of luck, ladies and gentlemen, but I don't have this my cargo just sitting there coding energy. Build them. You two go work hand in hand together. Execute. How many eggs in the hand goes in the basket? I don't think that's the phrase. Slugma. Still don't have you in a shiny, but we have two slugmas back to back. Does that mean we have something good? Not at all. We'll go to the back of this box. Hopefully getting ourselves. Pikachu VMAX in the back of the box. Hopefully he's hiding in the back, you know? Who knows? Maybe this little guy is just tucked away in the back, hiding out from us because he doesn't want us to be spoiled. He wants us to wait and anticipate its forthcoming of its golden goodness. And I just dropped that card, which was a Voltorb. No one really gives a shit about that. That's a lot of things back to back. Like, we're getting a lot of this sequencing, and we got a Wilmer, but... We're getting a lot of this going on in this box. If only this would happen with Pikachu VMAX. Okay, okay. Pikachu, are you in here, my dude? I sure hope so. I, man, we are lost. We are in despair, distraught, discouraged. B, giraffe, cheese, teddy bear, mole, Bug, ball, dead thing, child. Oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the energy levels, as I said, have been depleted, but we have to maintain the show for you guys to make sure that you guys are equally entertained. Telescope aside, Mediana, Betrombi, Rubad, Bugs, actually it's not a bug, that would be kind of weird. I gotta sneeze. <laughs> I am allergic to bad luck, but unfortunately I am not foreign to bad luck. Granted, we do have a special surprise that we will open up on a live stream. So I will be putting up a schedule shortly. If you guys do follow, you guys will see the schedules, see the schedules, she, she, the schedule, Kermorant, because I do want to start doing more live streams. And I will start doing that in tandem with some video gameplay. And pay attention to that, because it's coming soon. Mazdale. Shame in. Golden Gate Bridge. And if you guys want to see more Tater Tot content, check the socials. I do be posting up some videos of him on TikTok, because he's just, you know, just so fun having him every single day. Day-to-day -day interactions with him. I should probably start a social media page for him, but I don't want to pimp out my boy like that. I will, you know, put him on my stuff, but solely for himself, eh, it's a little weird. Especially when people talk, you know, hey, I'm a dog. This is my reply. Kick rocks. Kick rocks. But I will be posting more Tater Tot TikTok, so follow that TikTok. It's just, you know, the usual account, the Rebel Rouser. We be rebelling against good pulls. I should probably change the name. Let's do uh, the Lucky Rouser. Well, it doesn't make any sense. But we should probably change the name because... We are sure as hell rebel rousing these pulls that are absolutely atrocious. Woo bat, burping, Evie, hoping for some luck. Ugh, that's I, I saw the little end. It's a Lugia, and that's the end. The end is nigh, ladies and gentlemen. But we still have about five packs left, so there's not that nigh yet. Almost close. Are we there? No, but. 
<sighs> it sure as hell feel like we're there, ladies and gentlemen. It doesn't feel like we're getting any more goodies. There's B hanging out with a hip on top. Hopefully she doesn't sit on his top. That'd be terrible. Cottony, Joltik, he can't get electrocuted, so he's probably telling kids, yeah, you're not a good influence, my guy. Telling kids to put their hands on electrical sockets, they'll die. <laughs> I feel like dying. And does that mean we're also going to be getting a, uh, another Orbeetle, huh? Are we going to continue the sequencing of evolutions with Orbeetles and Toga Kisses? Toga Kiss, my ass. You suck, Toga Kiss. Actually, you're, you're a decent card and expanded, but... Uh, we want to see... Not you. We want to see the original Pokemon that captured the hearts of many. Not the one that came once Misty got that egg. Bad luck egg. Yeah, this is exactly how I'm feeling right now, Quagsire. How many packs we have left? We got six more packs. That's not a bad number. We like that number. We will do a pack with a little bit of silence to honor uh, the loss of money due to this box. But we'll do that after this pack because I just started talking. Electric. No, no. Electric. Delmise. Imagine getting tricked into saying that thing again. Whale Mer. Drill Burr. Whiz Mer. That's a lot of errs. Water. <laughs> Tater. What are you doing, bro? <laughs> a moment of silence. Wasn't that lackluster? <laughs> Non-hollows. Yes, we thrive for those. We thrive to be in the throes of despair, anguish. Wash me of this, these sins, ladies and gentlemen. Lord, Savior, Arceus. Legends of Arceus. Last two packs, ladies and gentlemen. Will we see it? Here, tonight, today? I hope so. Celebi Pack. Celebrating uh, the life of the Hyper Rare Pikachu? <laughs> oh, God. One, two, three. Water. It's fire. I feel under fire right now. My loins are on fire because of these terrible, terrible pulls. Blitzel. Chime Echo. Glaring Meowth looking like he's from Pirates of the Caribbean. Weedle. Another. If we get a fourth one in this pack, that would be absolutely amazing. Can you imagine, ladies and gentlemen, going through that many packs and getting that many Duraladons? That would suck. <laughs> Last pack, Magic. Here we go. Aromatic Energy giving us the aroma of good luck, good pulls, good Nikatas, good Wooper, good Milkries, good Beldum, good Boy, Sogma, good Zepstrika. Oh, hold on, little buddy. Bruh. Oh, <laughs> I called it! I called it. I called it. We got the Orbeetle. As I told you guys, we were getting the Orbeetle. Oh my god. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we tried our luck. These are the spoils of this booster box. I'm pretty sure I have every single thing that we pulled and then some. That is wildly disappointing. But we have one more chance. A pulling. A hyper rare Pikachu coming out from this loose vivid voltage blister acquired from Target. Oh, will we get it? I hate it. 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 But I don't hate getting more Pokemon cards out of what the hell? Out of this this pack. 
<laughs> I just wish it was Pikachu. Will we ever get it, ladies and gentlemen? Will we ever see the big round rainbow face? Comment down below if you think we'll ever see it by the end of the year. Oh, I sure as hell hope so. Drill Burr, Eevee, give us hope. Wish upon a star. Wish upon a star. I really want to do a U-turn, start this whole box opening, and just return this entire box. But before we move on, I want to open up one last pack, a Japanese pack, especially with Arceus literally out now, looking forward to playing it. We might as well open up something to give us a little bit of a spoiler before uh, Brilliant Stars gets released here in the US. These were the last packs at this not-so-local card shop I went to, so hopefully we get something good in this one. Execute bathing his nuts. Oshawott, bathing in that swamp water. Swampy nut water. Star Ravia, Star Raptor, Star... What's your name? I don't remember. The uh, Burmy? Why is there three of them there? And our rare? Oh. A nice little Dusk Noir. Uh, well, at least this was a better card than the Hyper Rare Pikachu that we didn't get. I guess. But hopefully you guys enjoy this video, regardless of whether or not we pull the Pikachu. Hopefully you guys still were entertained. Hopefully you still had a good time hanging out with us. And until the next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel to show us your support. Comment down below. Let us know how unlucky I am and how lucky you are. How many packs did it take for you to get that Hyper Rare Pikachu? For us, it's been many. Don't forget to share this video with some friends so they can be in despair with me, with you. And we can be in despair together. Turn on those notification bells so you guys get notified as to when these pack openings go live so you guys can get the most out of these code cards because they're there. And if you guys ever pull a Hyper Rare VMAX Pikachu from one of these code cards, let me know. And until the next time, Pomp Hard. Psh.